Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here again today. Still political season, so we've got a lot of folks coming in, and hopefully you're uh, watching some of these videos and getting to know some of these candidates that are on the uh, ballot this uh, primary season. May 8th, again, is the primary this year. Tuesday, get out there if you haven't voted and do that. We've got another gentleman here with us from Fulton County. This is Seth White. He's running for the Fulton County Surveyor. Welcome. Thank you. Good to have you here, Seth. Thank you. Um, first of all, let's start out. Uh, Fulton County Surveyor, is it? Um, are, are you on the Republican or Democratic ticket? Republican ticket. Okay, Republican ticket. And is this uh, something that you've sought for a while, that you've done, that you've... Where's your experience? What's drawing you in to be the county surveyor? This is something I've wanted to do for a while. Okay. I actually went in four years ago and pulled the form to do it. Mm -hmm. um, after talking with my wife, we decided to wait. Okay. Had a good job at Fender Brown, still do, still like it, um, but ready ready to move back home to Fulton County. Great. I am currently a licensed surveyor, Okay. which is part of it, the county surveyor's job as far as the section corner stuff, that's something I can do. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also farm. Okay. So I am very good with the drainage and know how important drainage is. And, Excellent. And That's part of the surveyor's that. role, That is right? a big part of the surveyor's okay. role is drainage. Well, let's talk just for a second about that. The surveyor. We see it on the ballot every few years. Not too many people really know what the surveyor's out there doing. So you talked about, of course, you know, um, getting out your equipment to make sure that everything's platted properly yep. and you've got your lines exactly where they're supposed to be. You come out to the house and tell me exactly where my property lines are, those type of things. But there's a lot more to it, right? What you're talking about right there is more what a licensed surveyor does. Okay. The county surveyor, the main importance of their job is the, the drainage. Okay. Um, again, with proper drainage, you got to start out with having your ditches cleaned, yep. maintained. Um, and then once that is done, tile, if county tiles need in the field to get yep. the water out. Okay. Very, very important for the farmers. So and the county maintains the irrigation ditches throughout the county correct. for the farms. Okay. Correct. I didn't know that. Most of them, yes. Okay. So that's the county's responsibility yep. and the surveyor takes care of that. Yep. The surveyor watches over everything and makes sure everything is Interesting. hopefully good to go. Yeah. So... And again, I'll digress just for a second, but if, um, you know, there's an irrigation ditch out by my house and it started to, through sediment or whatever, get filled up and the, the um, farmer's not able to pull from that ditch anymore because of low water flow, that's something that the surveyor goes in, he looks at, he sees the situation, and then he fixes it. It's not so much pulling from it, it's, okay. it's making sure that the ditch is cleaned out as much as possible to get okay. as much flow out of there right. and that way their tiles are still able to run. So it's more of a drainage, not so much an irrigation. Correct. Okay. Some some farmers do have um ir irrigation pivots okay. that they do pull out of, but that takes a pretty big you know river, I guess, sure. to do it. Got a big so flow. Most yeah, most of the small ones they, they yeah. can't do that. So the ones we're seeing out in the fields um are typically they're they're, they're well. down into yep. the into yep. the uh, aquifer down below. Yep. Interesting. So you've got the Purdue emblem on. You're a graduate of Purdue. Yep. What year did you graduate Purdue? 2008 graduate. Excellent. Land surveying and geomatics engineering. Excellent. Again, came licensed in 2012. Okay. And you were from here originally? Um, born and raised in Wayne Township. Okay. Lived here my whole life, uh, aside from my time at Purdue. Yeah. Came back home, um, met my wife in Co or met my wife at Purdue. She's from Kokomo. Okay. End up moving a whole three miles from Homestead and <laughs> still reside in Wayne Township. That's great. Do you have any kids? I have four kids. Four kids. Uh, Eli six, Isaac four, Samuel is two, and Jane is ten months. He did pretty well. I don't know if I could whip <laughs> off my kids' ages that quickly, but nice job. Well, a, a family man, a local man, and uh, well, we appreciate you wanting to step up. Talk to us about um, how this process works for you. You've made the commitment to run the campaign. Then we go through the primary season. Are you contested in the primary? Yes. Okay. I am contested. Uh, Casey Hensley mm -hmm. is my opponent right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Uh, very good person. I have mm -hmm. nothing bad to say sure, about her. Sure, sure. Nothing bad at all. Very good. Um, so it's a contested primary yep. on the Republican side. Yep. You've got to be a Republican to pull a Republican ticket. Democrats pull the Democratic uh, ticket, typically. of course. <laughs> you can fudge it if you want, but they don't <laughs> like that. But, uh, well, very interesting. So um, you're currently working where? I currently work for Finn and Brown, okay. uh, asphalt paving company out of Milford. Okay. You will see us in the area shortly. Okay. We've got at least two jobs that we'll be coming in. Nice. Um, we will be doing 31 starting next week, either next week or the following. Okay. Um, so we will be back in the county, which is great for me. Sure, sure. You know, being local, closer to home, <laughs> instead of going up to Lagrange right? and everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, so, um, but yeah, the, the, they are a great company. Um, my boss has been very supportive of this. Great. Um, and how does that work when you have a full-time job and, and you're also a surveyor? 
if, surveyors typically have full time jobs on top of correct. Um, right now, Fender Brown is my full time job, uh -huh. and I farm with my dad and brother okay. on the side. And uh, again, licensed surveyor, yeah. so I try to do a little work on the side right, there right, too. Right. Uh, if elected, uh, my Fender Brown job, I will be leaving them okay. at the end of 2018. I see to pursue the county surveyor job full time. Okay. Excellent. And um, hopefully, I'll still be able to do some private stuff on the side and, and yeah. a little ag on the side too. Sure. And uh, once farming's in the blood, it doesn't go away. Oh, it time. doesn't go away. I, <laughs> you know, I love it, but the the surveying side, I, I really, really enjoy. Sure. Well, that's neat. And by doing the county surveyor, I can help both sides. Sure, absolutely. So, well, very neat. Anything else you want to tell our viewers today, Seth? No, I, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Um, you know, the best endorsement I could ask for is yours, and. The best way to get that is to vote. So please get out there, vote, and vote Seth White for your county surveyor. Excellent. Seth White here. Thanks for watching RTC TV4. Remember, folks, get out on May 8th. Get that primary vote in. And, uh, of course, big election uh, this fall, so uh, be ready for that as well. But we're uh, happy to have people like Seth in here introducing themselves to you here on the TV screen. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about him. And, uh can cast your vote accordingly. So uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time here on RTC TV4.